Hi, welcome to an Arduino step-by-step -step course by RoboJax. If you found this tutorial helpful, please thumb up and also click on the subscribe on the right side in the lower corner. I really appreciate it. In this video, we are going to test and see this NJK5002C HAL magnetic sensor. We're going to turn on and off an AC bulb using magnetic uh, field detection. This is the HAL sensor and the model number is NJK5002C. Finally, we are getting something from eBay and AliExpress that has a model number. And in internally, this has a HAL sensor. The job of HAL sensor is to detect a magnetic field. When a magnetic field or a magnet is close to this, it detects it and it will send low signal. This also has a light here when it detects it. This can operate between 5 to 36 volts. It draws around 10 milliampere, very low current. Any magnet or magnetic field that approaches at this point, this will detect it. So it can, it can have multiple applications in robotics, in production line, in automation, that it detects position of other object that has magnet. So what you do is you will either put magnetic, actual magnet on the other piece, or electromagnet that uh, attached to the arm or a, to the uh, element that is getting close to this one or maybe the other piece is a stationary and this is attached to something that moves so you will have a you will have a magnet at certain position and when it approaches get closer this will turn on and it has length of this wire is hundred and 12 centimeter or 44 inches. The module weighs 40 grams. The diameter is 11.7 millimeter. The snut is 16.5 millimeter. The length of this sensor up to this point is 31.8 millimeter. Also this LED will turn on when it detects a magnetic field close to it. I've got these pen headers, which I'm going to attach to this, these wires. Uh, this will be connected to 5 volts, this will be connected to the ground, this is the output from this. With the load trigger, I'm going to explain it in the code, and on the, with the diagram. And here, this has just not, and also the... Uh, briefly explaining you the relay, the relay has 3 pens here. These 2 pens are normally open and this one is normally closed. Whatever wiring you do, you always will have your one wire at the middle and the other will be either here, which will be normally closed, and here, which will be normally open. What it means is when the signal comes to the relay, these two wires will connect. This side, we have VCC, which will be connected to five volts, ground will be connected to the ground, and N will be connected to the input of uh, your Arduino, which is pin eight. This green light will, will turn on when it receives signal and the relay is energized. This LED will turn on when you connect the relay to 5 volts. When you're using a relay, pay attention to the current rating of a relay. For example, this is a very tiny relay and the current rating is 2 ampere for 30 volts, 0 0.5 ampere for 100 volts and 0 0.6 ampere for 125 volts. This is the amount of current that it can handle. And this can handle 10 ampere at 28 volts and 10 ampere at all voltages, 120 and 250 and 30 volts. Uh, so to understand how much this can handle, in North America, the voltage is 120 volts time, times 10 ampere is 1,200 watt or 1 1.2 kilowatt. If you're in Asia and Europe, uh, the voltage is, let's say, 220 or 240 volts for 220 times 10 is 2,200 uh, watt or 2.2 kilowatt this relay can handle. And the same way this one, you have to also multiply the voltage times the current to get the power. And the same way this is a 12 volt relay, but the rating is 10 ampere for majority of the voltages. To avoid fire and overheating, do not allow the current 
above the rated current to pass through this relay. And here is the setup and diagram that I've done. The positive 5 volts, this is 5 volts connected to the VCC and to the uh, HAL sensor. And this uh, ground or negative is also connected to the ground of this uh, relay and to this sensor. And this black wire is connected to the end of this uh, relay. And my load is also connected to the bulb so this is my bulb now and this is connected to the AC load and the magnet will be proximity of this sensor. This is an AC desktop bulb and this is a power plug that I connected to the wall and 120 volts which will turn on and off. Now at this point I've cut one of these two wires at this point and twisted it and soldered it can be connected to relay. Job of relay is to connect this and the AC bulb is on or AC load whatever fan you have and disconnect it to turn it off. So I will be connecting these two to the relay. My AC bulb now AC load is connected to this relay I'm not touching it and this is a sensor and if I put the north pole of the magnet it will not be triggered so the uh, position of the sensor inside is such that it will be triggered only with the south pole and here is the slide and also you will see it there so it's uh, you, you can have electromagnet or whatever way of magnet but the polarity is very important because this will not work will not work from even this distance so you have to be very close and it will not work from the side because the metal is blocking the path of electromagnetic field from the sensor we have the three wires the brown is connected to 5 volts blue is connected to the ground and the black is connected to pin 2 for the relay VCC for the relay this VCC is connected to 5 volts the middle one is connected to the ground and then the last one which is the N the orange one connected to pin 8 the two wires of the AC bulb that I shown you are connected to these two pin of this relay let me now explain the code we first define the sensor pen, pen 2, there is no semicolon or anything, so you can use any digital pen that you want to use, make sure it's available, and this is a relay pen, pen 8, we will use this pen to connect to the relay, and this uh, weight variable of type integer is 3000 uh, milliseconds or 3 seconds, this is the amount of time that when the switch turns on the relay you want to wait this amount of time if you want it, this one to be real time just make it zero as soon as the switch is off the relay will be off it's up to you inside the setup which starts from here to here this code will run only once we use uh, pen mode we say pen mode sensor pen which we have defined here pen 2 this is as if we type 2 here and we say input pull up because this sensor needs a pull up resistor i've explained it in a separate video in this link you can watch it so it just eliminates usage of extra resistor and then we go pin mode and this time we relay uh, define the relay pin as an output this was as an input this is an output and we initialize the serial monitor with 9600 baht so we can print this text for us here and this must match the 9600 baht on this side must match this number in order to be able to read it inside the loop which starts from here to here this will run continuously we do the digital read sense pen we are reading pen 2 and the result of this either if it's sensed or not will be stored in the sense sensed integer because the sense is either 0 or 1 uh, so we are storing it in an integer so 0 or 1 in Arduino means low or high. Then we say if sensed equal equal low. This equal is used for comparison. 1 equal is for assignment. 
we have fine value but here we compare we say if sense is equal equal or if, if it's low then we print this on the screen here it will show it like this and then digital right relay pin low this goes to pin 8 and sets it to low because my relay is low trigger I put low if your relay is different put high so turn on mean put it to low and also wait for the amount of time that you said above and if it, there is no wait or the wait is zero it just go immediately after that and if it's not low the sense is not low then we you go to the else and we say digital write relay pin high this now turns off the relay again as the above if if you're reversing this if this is high this must be low if this is low this must be high so change it change it accordingly in my case it's just high and then I just print this one to print this dash I didn't say sense or anything to show that there is something it, it did not detect anything 300 millisecond is the wait to avoid hysteresis or continuous connection and disconnection so you can play with this but my experiment 300 millisecond was good let me now demonstrate this is a serial monitor the relay is connected this is my AC bulb here and the proximity sensor is here now if I put this closer will turn on and also you can see it she's sensed it needs to be very aligned a little distance will not work even like this it will not work so the pole must be on this side and also you can see uh, the light the LED will turn on here if I put the other pole the north pole will not work the magnetic field now goes like this it must be within this area if I'm holding it it just continuously shows sensed the amount of time that is running at the moment was zero so if I make this three second now this is set at three second if I remove it within three seconds it's on still if I set if I set this zero and if you want to respond but this one which is 300 millisecond if I make this zero now pay attention with this zero the delay the main delay so you will not get the result because it will be too quick connect and disconnect I will suggest play with this to find an optimal time my experience was 300 but maybe millisecond 300 millisecond and maybe in your application you need 100 millisecond or less or more thank you for watching this was how to use this NJK5002C HAL sensor please make sure to subscribe by clicking at the subscribe button in here Thank you. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Robojax. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, please post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And don't forget to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos.